Hi everyone, today's session is three Tai Chi movements that are going to improve your strength and protect your balance. So with regular practice, Tai Chi is an excellent, gentle, low impact exercise that can really help build the strength in your core and your legs and protect our balance so we can stay active and mobile as we age. So we're going to start first of all with a short warm-up just to get the body loosened off and warmed up and then we're going to go into these three different movements, Tai Chi movements that we're going to combine together and if you practice these on a regular basis it should help and maintain your strength and balance. So let's get started. Feet hip width apart in a neutral and nice relaxed stance. We're just going to do our knocking on the door. So turning from the waist, arms swinging freely. And we're just trying to loosen the spine, gradually turning the waist a little bit further as we get warmed up. And we're preparing our body for some movement. I'm going to take the body transfer over from one side to the other to make this a slightly bigger movement and then therefore warming the legs up as well. Slowing it down, bringing it back to our centre. We're going to keep our knees bent and do some hip circles. And let's change direction. Okay, we're going to turn our feet out slightly and we're just going to sway our body weight over from one leg to the other. So a kind of small side bow if you're used to practicing Tai Chi. But we've got our toes pointing to the corner so we want our knees also to travel in those corner directions over the toes. And just listen to your body, make sure that this movement suits your body, keep these exercise as well within your comfort zone again this is just to warm up and loosen the body so it doesn't need to be a big movement we don't want to stress out any of our joints okay so our first movement is our empty stance so I'm going to make one foot my supporting leg and I'm just tapping here into empty stance. Just think about your posture for a second. So we're lifting up through the body like we are suspended from the ceiling with a piece of string. This means that our hips stay aligned and our core needs to be engaged. So we are pulling belly button through to spine. I'm going to keep my hands on the table. And this front foot tapped on the floor, empty of weight. I'm going to transfer the weight, it's only a small step, and I'm going to tap on the other side, empty stance. So slide across, and empty stance here. Slide across, and empty stance here. I'm going to add an arm, golden rooster, just to make it a bit more interesting for you to practice at home. We're looking through the fingertips and beyond. So I'm going to practice this for a little while. You can take the step a little bit further if you want a bit more of a challenge. Or you can keep it a little bit smaller and it's a bit easier for your legs whilst you're developing the strength. So keeping it here. a 
and lift and hold. So we're going to lift the foot, we're going to tuck it down and we'll step into the side. So golden rooster stands on one leg. I'm going to focus, like I say, through the fingertips and beyond to a dot on the wall and that should help you balance, keep the core engaged, pulling belly button through to spine and again that will help develop the strength. to this. So we're going to make a fist and we're going to cut our hand round to the down to end. We're going to punch to palm and at the same time as punching I'm just going to step this foot into a mini horse stance with a nice little knee bend. Again listening to my body and making sure the knees are travelling in the direction of the toes. So from here I'm lifting up making my fist and punching down. Let's try that again on one side. So nice strong and soft movement all in one. Try it on the other side, so sliding across, tap in here, lift up, make your fist, punch down to palm and let's go again. So we're going to put that all together. So we're sliding across golden rooster, lift onto one leg, make your fist and punch down, alternating to the other side. Golden rooster stands on one leg, punch to palm. Empty stance, golden rooster stands on one leg, make your fist, punch to palm. Okay, let's just shake out the legs and arms. And I'm going to repeat those three movements together again, alternating from side to side. This time I want you to visualise that your hand and foot are attached with a piece of string and so they're really trying to move at the same time. Yeah, and that way we are getting a continuous movement. It really calls for a lot more strength and balance so do work up to this, but I know that you will get there. Okay, so let's put our hands on the table, think about our posture, really ground the feet to the floor and really lift up through the crown. Off we go, so you are sliding across. Golden Mr. stands on one leg, lift up and punch down. So it becomes one continuous movement.
Yeah, shake it out. Final way of practicing it is just adding a little pause in our golden rooster stands on one leg, thereby really challenging the balance that little bit longer. Uh, so let's try that. So it's almost like slowing it down. Nice posture again, round, grounded to the floor, lifting up through the crown. Okay, so we're sliding across. Lift and hold, and then punch down. Lift and hold. One more on each side. Let's gather the chi. And again. Bringing ourselves to parallel stance. And bring it to the dantian to finish off. Like I said at the beginning, with repetition and regular practice, those three Tai Chi movements can help build and maintain your strength and balance. That's what we need to really protect as we are aging so that we can stay active and mobile. So a great routine this to get into a regular habit of practicing. If you're a senior and you want to improve and increase your strength, if you're over the age of 60 and you want to protect your balance and protect yourself against falls. And anyway, any age, anyone, any fitness level really going to help improve your balance and strength by doing this on a regular basis. So I hope you've enjoyed this session. Do check out some of the others on the channel. Lots and lots to choose from there. And it's all free. So do drop me a line to say whether you are enjoying these sessions. Take care, guys, and I shall see you again.